y'all. Welcome to my kitchen. My name's Amanda, but my nephews, they call me Dandy. Well, what's funny is my family actually calls me Mandy, but when my nephews were first learning to speak, Amanda was really hard for them to say. And so I became Dandy, short for Mandy, and it, well, it just stuck. You may or may not have seen some of my adventures over on my YouTube travel channel called Chubby and Away. Now over there, my boyfriend and I, Jimmy, travel pretty frequently or as often as we possibly can. Most recently, we spent a full year in Asia. So basically, I'm a Southern girl who loves to travel the world. But because I'm a Southern girl, I grew up cooking. I have been cooking since I was tiny. I've watched my mom, my mima, everyone in my family cook for the people that they love. And somehow they made it all look super, super easy. Now I constantly asked to help, always. And they never told me no, every single time. And because of that, I grew up with a fascination in well, an absolute passion for really, really good food. Now, so when I started traveling a lot, especially here in Asia, I made a point to learn a dish in every place that I visited. I wanted to be able to bring the flavors and the food from the places that I was visiting to my family. So, I never missed a market. <laughs> I ate all of the street food that I could get my hands on and I was able to learn how to make some of the world's best dishes from some of the most incredible local people, from banana pancakes in Vietnam to seriously killer chicken curry in Sri Lanka. Y'all wait for that one, that's really good. So I had this wild idea that I would start a cooking show to share my love of food and all of the different flavors and cultures that I have been able to eat and savor over my travels with all of you guys. Because at the end of the day, we all deserve really good food. I'm gonna finish this up real quick, but while I do, why don't you guys take a look at just a tiny hint of some of the adventures that I've had the privilege of taking, some of the deliciousness that I've been able to eat, and a pretty good sample of some of the food I cannot wait to teach you guys how to make. I am so excited you guys are here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you like what you saw. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys don't miss any videos that I upload because let's be honest, this fried rice is pretty good. So make sure you check the description of every video that I upload because that's where you'll find the full recipe. Also, you'll find all my social media down there too. There's always a place at my table for any friends. 
See you guys next time.